I'm sure we're all excited for the new Crash Team Racing game, but there's still a problem that needs to be addressed. It's the fact that the game can't be brought up without mentioning Mario Kart, whether it be in a positive or negative light. For example, there are some people who will bring up Mario Kart when talking about Crash Team Racing just to say Crash Team Racing is better and Mario Kart is overrated. And then you have people on Mario Kart's side who are saying, well, if they can't talk about Crash Team Racing without bringing up Mario Kart, they must be similar, and if they're so similar, then what's the point of buying CTR if I already have Mario Kart? You see, it hurts both sides. The Crash Team Racing fanbase is hurting itself by pushing others away, and the Mario Kart fanbase are making themselves look like old judgmental grandpas who can't try anything new. I've heard multiple of each thing from both sides, so I'm here to attempt to put a stop to it. Now, I may prefer the Crash Kart racers over Mario, but I do not think they are better. And I don't think Mario is better either. They are not comparable. And I will prove it by explaining all the differences in this video. With that said, let's begin. First up is a minor detail that has a big effect. The game feel. The way it feels to play these games. Now both Crash and Mario Kart have specific stats for characters and carts you pick. But in Mario Kart, they do feel more defined. This can be a double-edged sword, however. While it is cool to see the stat changes you pick actually have an effect, it does lead to some balancing issues. I'm sure we all remember Funky Kong in Mario Kart Wii. Now, while the stat differences in Crash Team Racing aren't as noticeable, they still do have an effect. Everyone's stats are just super hyperactive to keep things balanced. Like, let's say in Mario Kart, after you get hit, Depending on your character's acceleration, it may take you a while to get back to your top speed. But in CTR, after getting hit, you reach your top speed again in, like, a matter of seconds. No matter which character or cart you're using. And since CTR has a more light and momentum-based gameplay feel, it always seems like you're going faster, even if you're already at your top speed. Now, when it comes to turning, CTR does feel like it has a lot more control. While in Mario Kart, it feels more like an autopilot on rails thing. The most you can really do is lean left or right to avoid obstacles in the road if you're driving on a straight path. Most, if not all of the turns in the game are nearly impossible without the drift mechanic. In CTR, you can drift to make a lot of the turns, but most characters can make it with regular turning. That's because the drift in CTR is mainly used for something else. Mario Kart has two different drifting mechanics. The first one I mentioned earlier by pressing the shoulder button to make sharp turns by sliding, and if you do it long enough, you get a boost. And the second one occurs when you drive behind other players and sort of absorb their acceleration. CTR only has one drift mechanic, but it can help you in two different ways. You use the shoulder button to jump and slide, but instead of waiting until you earn a boost, there's a meter that fills up very quickly, and pressing the other shoulder button will allow you to activate that boost. You can do three boosts in a single drift, each of them getting stronger than the last. And since CTR has more controllable game feel and turning, you can easily do this on a straight path to catch up without losing control. And the tracks for both of these games are built very well around each of their mechanics. <laughs> nice segue, right? We're talking about racetracks now. Now, as I've said before, Mario Kart has gotten a lot safer and feels more like an on-rails autopilot sort of thing, and the tracks follow that. The tracks are mostly straightforward, and there are some alternate paths that are very well defined, but most shortcuts you'll be finding yourself just boosting through patches of grass that you can drive over. They do help a little bit, but not as much as the shortcuts in CTR. While CTR does in fact have some standard circuits, most of the races feel like you're driving through the environment, rather than a racetrack on the environment. There are more bumps and slopes and jumps, everything to make the tracks more exciting. One of my favorite tracks, inspired by the sewer levels in Crash 2, has these super cool half pipes that you can use to gain crazy speed and reach an extremely difficult shortcut, thanks to the momentum-based gameplay. CTR even takes a page out of Zelda of all things and has some shortcuts hidden away that are only accessible by throwing destructive items. Oh, I was gonna segue this into the items, but I remembered something last minute while recording. If you see some tracks in Crash Team Racing Nitro Field with anti-gravity mechanics, those are from Crash Nitro Kart released in 2003. 11 years before Mario Kart 8, so no, they won't be ripping Mario Kart off if they do that. Now we get onto the items, and of course the most basic ones are similar. Where Mario Kart has red shells and green shells, CTR has bombs and missiles. The same homing and throwing properties, but that's about it. CTR has a bunch of different items, like the TNT crates. You bump into one, it gets stuck on your head, but if you bounce repeatedly, you can shake it off. It also has clocks that can slow down the time of all your opponents and make them disoriented and dizzy. And in Crash Nitro Kart, if they decide to include it in Nitro Fueled, there are items that can electrocute you or put you into a block of ice and make your controls all slippery. There are more items, but too many to list for now. When it comes to the item mechanics, it also works a little similar. Players closer to first get the weaker items and players closer to last get the stronger items. 
But an extra mechanic makes it a lot different. Mario Kart is a bit unbalanced, so if you fall far behind, it may take you a long time to group back with everyone else, even with the catch-up mechanic in play. And this can happen a lot, with characters way in first instantly becoming way in last, characters are always spread around the maps and all over the place. CTR does a great job at keeping all the players grouped together though. While the players in last do get better items, the players ahead do have ways to defend themselves. And that is because of the Wumpa Fruit mechanic. They are littered throughout the stage like coins in Mario Kart, except the Wumpa Fruit actually have a purpose. Once you collect 10 of them, all the items you collect become powered up. The TNT crates become nitro crates which explode instantly. There's a green bubble shield that runs out after a couple seconds that turns into a blue bubble shield that lasts forever until you get hit, or until you decide to throw it. And there are several different variations like that. So while the players in the back may get the stronger items, the players in first who are probably able to maintain 10 Wumpa Fruit get the more powered up items to defend themselves with. So throughout most of the race you'll be clustered and grouped up with all the rest of the racers and the only way to get really far ahead, which it is possible to, is with your own skill. While in Mario Kart it's mostly just luck based, hoping for an item that will get you that that far ahead. When it comes to game modes, Crash Team Racing pretty much has everything Mario Kart has, but also a little more, including its biggest difference, Adventure Mode. It has a story, it has cutscenes, it has boss races, it has hub worlds, it has unlockables and collectibles and extra missions, pretty much anything you could ask for for an adventure mode in a kart racer. In conclusion though, those are the many, many, many differences between Mario Kart and Crash Team Racing, and why they need to stop being brought up when one of the others is. For the Crash Team Racing fans, when you're telling Mario Kart fans about this game, tell them why you like it, not why you prefer it, because these comparisons don't work. And for Mario Kart fans, please give CTR an honest try, regardless of how rude their fans acted. The game deserves it, and if you accuse me of trying to make CTR sound better than Mario Kart in this video, you're the one that thinks it sounds better. I only told facts about the game itself, no outside opinions. So if you think I tried to make it sound better, then that's actually probably a good indication that you'll enjoy the game, so please Please, go try it out. And CTR fans, please calm down. Leopold the Brave, out.